Hey guys, it's Faith, welcome back to my channel. So recently I got a couple of requests in my comments section asking if I can do a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Full disclosure, I am not a makeup artist. I do not know what I'm doing with makeup. I'm kind of just guessing at this point, <laughs> which sounds so bad. I've just kind of seen tutorials on Instagram and a couple videos on YouTube here and there, but I do not really know what I'm doing with makeup. This is just what I do in the morning. It's pretty quick and easy in my opinion. I, I don't know, I've, I've had the same makeup routine since like I was maybe like 17. So, <laughs> And I only recently just started like adding more sparkles into it. So that's, that's basically it. I do not use foundation on a daily basis. I find that it just clogs my pores. And personally, I feel so lucky I don't really have skin that is too prone to acne. Every once in a while, I'll get some like here and there, like I have a mark there, I had a zit here and over here last week. And I'll also make another video with my skincare routine some other time because a couple of people asked for that. And no, it is not Curology. I don't really use foundation too often. I will use it if I'm going to a special event or if my skin is just really terrible and uneven. Then I will use foundation to make sure that I'm starting with like an even layer on top. And if I am using foundation, I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade four because I am very pale. But today I'm not going to be using foundation just because I don't feel like the need to. <laughs> So to start, what I like to do is I like to just take my concealer. I love, love, love the NARS concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. This is my go-to. I've tried different concealers, like I've done Shape Tape, a couple different drugstore ones, but I really find that the NARS one works best with blending smoothly into my skin, especially because I'm not using foundation. I'm not starting with an even base. It kind of just matches my skin tone all over. I definitely recommend the NARS concealer and I use it in shade vanilla. But actually before that, I, I don't do this too often, only if there's like a red spot that's like really noticeable. This is like some green junk from CVS. I don't even know. Powder palette, multicolored corrector green. Uh, this is from Physicians Formula. It's like all cracked. It's so old. Um, I've dropped it so many times. It just looks like green pebbles. I don't know. This is just what I do for color correcting is I just like take some of this powder, pop it on top of the pimple area, and I call it a day. And that's just for like super red areas or like super uneven areas. Once again, because I'm not using foundation, just to correct everything. Yeah, so just those two spots are the big ones today. Then I take my concealer and I just boop, 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 boop. Pop that on there. Boop. And then I just take my beauty blender um, I need to get a new one because I've had this one <laughs> for God knows how long, but I do clean it a lot. I just cleaned it with some like conditioner, like hair conditioner and some soap and that works. A1, it works amazing for me. I think it works great. And what I also like to do is you can see here, like I have bags under my eyes because I don't sleep right. And <laughs> So I will take concealer sometimes and just kind of pop it right under this corner of my eye on both sides and sometimes even like over here. I try to avoid going directly under the eye where the creasy area is just because any type of concealer or foundation that I've ever put there will get more creasy. Even products like the Shape Tape, they're always like, oh, it's a uh, crease-free concealer. Um, no, it's not. Everything that you put there, like your skin is going to move a lot during the day. Like you squint, you open, you blink your eyes. So I just try to avoid putting them in the creases because it does make it look more creasy. And I've tried putting setting powder there. That doesn't really work for me. Just, I just overall, I try to avoid going near this area. Um, that's just me. And then what I like to do after that is I take my Fenty Beauty matchsticks. This is for the contour. I take this in shade Mocha. And what I like to do is, I've seen all these things on like YouTube and stuff. I put it on my hand over here and I kind of just like make a line like that. I take my Kat Von D brush and in 
number 10. Uh, I think this is made for foundation, but I find that it works great for contour. I kind of just like... Very lightly, I'll put some on. And, um... Please excuse my contouring face. It's not my best. Kind of just dip into there and place it over. And then I'll blend it out in a few seconds. I just kind of like to put it all over first. Ooh, ooh. This is how I do my makeup. <laughs> I don't always do contour, but I do have to say most days I probably do just because uh, if I don't, I look like an egg. As you probably noticed in the beginning of the video, I wake up literally looking like an egg every day. And sometimes I just take this and just make myself a little crown on the top of my head. You don't have to be exact, but I find it's best to like place it as close as you can to the edge. Um, because when I'm blending, I don't, my, my forehead isn't like that big. Um, it's a little big. <laughs> So I just want to get like the outside of it because the more contour that you use on your forehead, the smaller your forehead will look. Um, I just kind of want to bring some warmth to my face. So once again, I have no idea what I'm doing or like talking about, but this is, this is like how I do my makeup. No makeup gurus try and tell me what to do, okay? Get it as blended as possible. I don't usually do my drawing. Sometimes I just take the residue, put some on the brush, and go like that. Just because I see so many people um, that have like a full face of makeup and then a huge contour line, but like a double chin, and I'm like, mm, that doesn't make sense. So then I just put some more on here, and I take this little brush from BH Cosmetics. It's 102. Um, just take any brush that's like flat on the edge. And I just put some onto the brush. I just kind of place this onto my nose and then I do like a little bridge effect there. And then I just take like my big contour brush and try and blend that out because that little one's gonna do nothing for me. Yeah, and I think like the contour for me, like the biggest reason why I do it is to bring warmth to my face because I am very pale, as you probably noticed and this helps a lot so there's that <laughs> so what i like to do next is i just recently started using this product um it's from glossier it's the cloud paint in the shade puff um it's such cute packaging i love glossier i always go to their flagship store in new york city just because it's so cute some of my favorite products by glossier are the cloud paint and then also of course their lip glosses are amazing 10 out of 10. they're not super tacky which i really like another lip gloss that i really like is the kylie cosmetics ones there's one oh you fancy and then i also have another one in white which is stunning so what i like to do is i like to take this cloud paint and it does come out quite fast and a little bit goes a long way so oh my god and that's exactly what i was trying to avoid um i put way too much on like this is this is way too much so let's kind of try and spread it out and then Yeah, something like that. And sometimes, every once in a while, I'll do this. I'll just like put a little bit there. A little bit there. You just kind of spread it out. I don't know how these e-girls do it where they're like super cute looking. I kind of just look like I have a cold. But this blends super easily into the skin. It is pretty pigmented. So bear that in mind when you're using it. It also sometimes looks like I have like a sunburn, but whatever. <laughs> Brings some color to my bland face, which looks like a hard boiled egg all the freaking time. <laughs> so that is the blush. Let's do my eyebrows. I don't do too much in my eyebrows. I really try not to be that person that has like those huge chunky eyebrows. So what I do is I just kind of like 
brush it out and they're like uneven in shape right now i got them waxed like a couple weeks ago and they haven't fixed themselves yeah that's what i do so i use like this anastasia beverly hills pencil it's uh this brow definer so it has like this weird like triangle tip um in shade medium brown I recommend going like a shade down if you're doing your eyebrows because this shade is fairly pigmented but I'm, I just use it very lightly. But you see the problem when I do my brows is like I get like way too fixated on a spot and then like I fill it in until the point where it's like way too dark, you know? Okay, so I like to fill them in and then I just kind of like brush them out because I always overdo it, so. Anyways, on to highlighter. My favorite highlighter is the Champagne Pop by Becca. And this was like their like limited edition um, sparkly packaging one. It usually just has like a black rim around it. And I just take like this little elf brush that I got maybe like when I was 15 um, and I just dip it in and I go whoop. I take it again. Oh my gosh, my hair. I go like this. I like to, for my nose, I started using my finger recently, so that it's more in a concentrated spot. And I put a little bit down the bridge of my nose, and then I take a little bit and I put it on my cupid's bow. Right there, and a little bit there. Take some and put it on my eyebrows. And if I'm not, if I want to keep it super simple and do no eye makeup, um, I'll just pop it in the inner corner of my eyes usually. But I'm gonna do just like a little bit of eyeshadow today, you'll see. I'm pretty sure that this is the first thing of makeup that I've ever purchased. Definitely had to be like 13 or 14 when I bought this. And it is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It is my go-to and like all the shades are still there and it's been like six years or something. <laughs> So I take this, it does smell good. It smells good still. I don't know, maybe it's expired by now, but I don't really care. I take this shade Jet Setter, which is just like a basic brown, and I go like this, and I go like this. And this is just like a fluffy brush. I don't even know. I think this is BH Cosmetics, but just any fluffy brush. You just kind of blend it, you know what I'm saying? Um, next, I take the shade Funny Girl and I just put it on my finger and pop it on my lid like this and like this. There we go. That is how that is done. So this is the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint in shade 12. So I like to take this and then I open it up. It's got this cute little, I think it's called, I hear like people call these things like dough, dough tip. Oh, tip, I don't know. I don't do makeup, okay? I just put a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes, pop some here, No, I'm shine. And then I blend it out so that it's not like a solid cutoff. And then I take some over here. Also, I don't trust my left hand to like do anything with makeup. I'm not coordinated enough for that, you know? So, there we go. That is that. And once again, I blend it out like so. And then I take the Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop in shade Ladybird. And I kind of just do once again another layer of sparkles. <laughs> like right when you thought I was done, right? More sparkles. More sparkles. The more sparkles, the better. You know what I'm saying? Because then it shows what trophy you truly are. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Sometimes I really wonder. So the next thing I like to do is I move on to mascara. So this is the Telescopic Carbon Black by L'Oreal Paris. You could just get this at Target. That's where I get it, or I'm sure you can get it at the drugstore, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. Um, it has like the, it's not like a super 
full tip. I like these brushes because they can get closer to your lash line and it kind of gives your eyelash like an elongated look. Um, you'll see, like right now you see I have no eyelashes. And then I go like this. And that, my friend, is how I do my mascara. And I don't know if you guys can notice the difference, but it's definitely a more natural mascara. It's not one of those ones that's like super clumpy or anything. It just really adds a nice tint to your eyelashes and makes it look amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend this product. I think that looks pretty good. So next what I like to do is I have these lash trios from Ardell. I get these at Ulta and Target and they are amazing. I love them so much. So what I like to do is I take the, there's two lengths. So there's a medium and a short length. Um, so I'll take the medium length and I'll put it on the outside over here so that it just kind of flares out and adds some dimension to your eyes. So when I put the lashes on, it gives me more of like an almond shape eye. Also the highlight on the inner corner of the eye, I feel like that definitely helps to highlight that shape. So I'm just gonna take these out. Um, I don't use tweezers or anything. Some people find that that's helpful. I find it to be terrifying. I use the Duo Quick Set Lash Glue Adhesive, but the problem with this is that it does dry really fast, so you kind of have to keep it closed. Sometimes like I'll leave it out and then, it, like you can hear it. Like it's like, glued together. So when I'm using it, I kind of just leave it in the tube like this and pull it out when I need it. I always forget to close it after I'm done and that's where the problem arises just because I'm very forgetful. So I'm going to take these lashes and what I like to do, I just grab it in between my index and my thumb, grab a little bit of this, poke it in that glue, you know what I'm saying? so stringy right now what the heck and pop this back in here and I kind of just tried to I haven't done this with my phone ever So now that that's done, um, you can see over here, there's like a little bit of gapping there. So sometimes I'll take the short lash and put it in between, but I'm not really seeing anyone important today. So I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, after that, what I like to do is I use the MAC Prep and Prime. I just kind of take it and spray it on my face. Um, Okay, usually farther than that. I definitely squared that way too close. I just tap my face. Tap it into my face, you know? Um, especially over the highlighted areas, I like to like kind of push it into so that it smooths out and doesn't look as powdery, I guess you could say, because sometimes I feel like it looks like that. This looks more like dewy if you blend it in. Now for my hair. This is the curling iron that I like to use. It is from Hot Tools Professionals and you can choose the temperature. Here's the on and off switch. Super easy to use. And I have the temperature set to about like 350. You don't need it like super hot for what I'm gonna do. And I like to take the Kat Von D brush because I don't have one of those like combs with the pointy thing on the end. And recently I've been parting down the middle. That would be a cute hairstyle, right? I feel like that would be kind of cute. No. I look colonial. So what I like to do is I kind of just take this first section of hair here. It depends on how big I want my curls to be or like how flowy I want them to be. So today I'm just gonna make them like a medium sized. I just take this curling tool and I kind of just wrap it around here like so. I know this isn't like the best way. Yeah, I'm probably like holding the curling iron wrong or something, but whatever, I'm trying my best. 
y'all ask, y'all shall receive. And that is my first curl. And I'm just gonna let it sit like that while I take like my next few sections of hair. And then at the end, I'm gonna kind of brush it through with my fingers so that it's a more fluid curl. <sighs> Whenever I do this, like I feel like I can't breathe. Breathe. And also my hair doesn't really retain heat well. It doesn't stay straight and it doesn't curl which literally sucks. Um, <laughs> I've tried doing the curl with like the straightening iron and I've tried with curling irons, I've used hairspray and it just, it doesn't hold a curl well unless I use a curling iron. So that's what I tried to do. I've gotten a couple of comments recently saying that I look like Beck from you. I think that's like the funniest compliment ever. It's very nice. I love her. Well, her character is kind of a loser, but I think she's a very pretty human being. I forgot her real name though. She is so pretty though, but in all honesty, like the show you, season one was amazing. And then I watched season two recently and I hated it for like the first like six episodes or something. Oh my God, it was so slow, so boring. And, that, and then it got good, so. I do have to say I'm pretty happy with the ending. That was an interesting ending. And then after I'm done with that, I just like to kind of brush my fingers through it and try and push like some volume into it. And it looks like this. And that is pretty much my everyday hairstyle. All right, and then I just kind of push the hair out of my face. So it looks like that. I mean, if you'd like, you could probably like tease your hair make it like more voluminous or voluminous, I don't know. I usually throughout the day, I try to keep it like this. I try to keep it like this, but I usually end up like just kind of like poking over here and like flipping it. So that it's more like this, that's just me. And I also want to put on some lip gloss. This has been my go-to lip gloss. This is the Kylie lip gloss in Always Shining. And also my other favorite is Oh You Fancy. These are my two favorite lip glosses and they are from Kylie Cosmetics. They're so flipping cute. They just look so good all the time. Just kinda. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like lip smackers. That's it. That's how you get ready with me. And then some days I wear my glasses, mostly just for school days. You know, you know what I really like? I, I love this freaking necklace. Look at how cute this is. It says my name, F-A-I-T-H. And this is from my friend, Kate. She lives in Hawaii and she is the sweetest human ever. She has a YouTube channel also. She has much more subscribers than I do but she makes these cute necklaces. I love them so much. And I think I'm gonna get them for a gift for someone for Valentine's Day. If you wanna check them out on Instagram, I got this from Precious by Kate and I will link that down below. And I'll also link her YouTube because she's such a sweetheart. You guys should check out her channel. I love her so much. It just kind of like ties every outfit together and I think it's super cute, I don't know. So that is all I had planned for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, love you. Bye. <laughs>